Lisa. I have a whole lot of photos today and a two-page layout for us. A few months ago, a few weeks ago, I can't remember now, I did this layout where I had these two great photos and I did a lot of the journaling on these uh, Project Life cards. So these, this two-pager is sort of a continuation of this whole story. So I've got a lot of photos to share. I don't have a ton of journaling uh, because I've I've said it uh, mostly here, but we're going to put a little bit of journaling on this. Mostly I want to get the photos captured and maybe I did a little train before on this one. So maybe I'll do one with some color to it instead of just the silhouette. Or I may do some other images. You can always substitute out the embellishments on my sketches. So um, here are my photos. They're mostly 4x4s and then I have one 4x6 and the sketch uh, reflects that. Now I have six photos and I've only drawn five here so I may swap this square out for another photo because I really don't think I want to uh, take any of these out. Uh, they all are part of the story or they're really cute photos. So anyway, and um, I'm going to do a little bit of trim or washi tape or something along the bottom here. My two papers are part of a We Are Memory Keepers pack. Um, actually, I kind of like this little small green dot, so I may just use both Besides, with it. I don't know though. I need paper to go across a two page spread. So, anyway, I'll work on my papers. I think I'm going to use my papers for the background instead of doing um, just a cardstock background. For these, they go really well with the uh, pictures, and I want a lot of color on this uh, layout. So, I'm going to start um, trimming these photos down a little bit and getting rid of this white part and then um, pulling everything together here and then we'll figure out our embellishments and titling for the page. So I've cut my stripe paper down to four pieces plus a couple of small strips of that stripe paper. Remember it had that little green dot on the back so I really cut it into six pieces and we're going to apply it to some scrap um, designer paper, some of that thin designer paper that I have in my stash. If you do a lot of two-page layouts and you're looking for ways to stretch your paper and all kinds of tips and techniques for those, I ha have a class called Two-Page Terrific and we do a lot of these kinds of things in there. Because I very seldom have two pieces of one paper other than cardstock. So this was a way to get all that great color on the page just arranging my photos and I did decide to use all of my 4x4 four four photos. You could sub out, of course, regular paper squares for any of these photos depending on the number that you had. And this allows for one 4x6 photo. You could probably sneak another one in too if you wanted. I'm using some of my 6x6 um, six six pads to fill in the little squares. They're really good for that. And I pulled one of the um, Project Life cards out of that set so it would kind of match those other pages. And one of the papers I'm using had this great gray paper on the back that I thought made a good, would make a good border. So I did another, I did two levels of border down there at the bottom. Now I'm going to mix my title between uh, chipboard and some die cuts from the silhouette and I'm looking for the word play and I thought it would be fun to just use it, do different kinds of letters and it can be pretty big because I got a fair amount of space going across there. So I'm looking and I found, I was surprised, I thought I'd have to paint all these, but I was surprised to find letters in good colors for everything except the Y unless I do the Y in the same um, chipboard as the uh, letter P. But I have a really large Y there in cursive that I really like and it's you know, one of those letters, obviously I've had it a while or it wouldn't have gotten into this box. So I think I'm going to do it and just paint it. But I've kind of left both of them out there till I decide. Now i got to work on my little embellishments. And what I did was just cut some things out of the silhouette. We'll get to those um, here in a second. I did decide to use the Y and I'm going to paint it green. And I put some yellow ribbon up at the top to give another um, border. Now what I want to do with these chip um, die cuts is to give them a little extra body and a little extra shine. So I am coating them with some heavy gel medium and my theory was that I would glue them together because the gel works as glue too, as I would glue them together as I went. 
but that did not go well. My fingers kept sticking to them and I just, this just did not go all that well on the little train. So what I ended up doing for the fish was gluing the pieces together first and then putting the gel over them and that worked much better. But I'm still working on the train here, trying to get the all the little uh, wheels even. I don't know if they're called wheels on a train. Anyway, the round things that go through the tracks. Tell I don't know anything about trains. <laughs> but this was a cute uh, train die cut that wasn't too detailed. So yeah, this one would have been a lot easier if I just glued all the pieces together and then coated them with the um, uh, gel medium. And that's what I'm going to do for the fish. And I'm sorry, I'm off camera there a little bit. I'm just gluing stuff together. And that's what I'm, I'm just gluing the pieces of the fish together. And the fish has this little balloon you see it there, and I cut it in black because the string I showed on the uh, one on online was supposed to be black. So when I cut out the top piece, what would show through is black, and I don't want that. So I'm just taking a scrap piece of pink, the same color as I did for the little blush, I guess, on the fish, and I'm putting it behind the other color. So I didn't feel like the die cut had quite enough pieces, but I made my own. Then we'll coat this with gel medium. And you'll see it at the end of the video and, and how good it comes out. It looks messy right now, but it gets better. Okay, I'm wrapping up this page. I'm just going to add some journaling and strips, and then I think I have everything else uh, ready to go. I do have one thing to glue on, and I wanted to show it to you before I glued it on. This was the die cut that I had added the gel medium to, and I wasn't sure how it was going to come out, but I was really pleased with not only the, the slightly glossy finish, but how um, substantial it is once you get that uh, glue on there and this one worked better than the train because I glued all the elements together first with Tombow and then added uh, the gel medium so that's going to get glued right down here I'll go ahead and put it down here in the bottom so you can see the finished page and I finished up my title by painting the Y uh, the color green to go with some of the other accents on the page. Under this Hello Love um, journaling card I added the children's names and their ages. As I say I put some journaling up here so you can kind of see how the page has come together with lots of photos. Some strips of paper but you could use border strips along the bottom or ribbon as I did up here. And here's the sketch that we used. So um, I hope you will check out my other videos and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.